Well, good evening. How is everybody tonight? Hope you're having a fantastic night, as always. I needed to give a great big thanks to Alone in Remote Alaska. She contacted me uh, three weeks ago or so and asked if I would do a question and answer vlog, basically, on her page. And I says, yeah, absolutely. Sounds like fun. So she sent me a bunch of questions and I just answered them in little video snips. Sent all of them back to her. And then she put together a, a beautiful little video over there. So if you'd like to see it, I'll put the link in the description below. She did a very good job. So go check it out. Uh, she's just started a channel over there uh, this year. And she's living in a remote place in Alaska all by herself. So she's doing just a great job as far as I'm concerned. So go over there and help her out. Give her page some lovin's. The other thing I was going to talk about is the video you're going to see is me working on the foundation of the kitchen. I'm not quite done with it. There's a few little more things I want to do to it. So I didn't quite get as far as I would have liked to by the time I was ready to put this video out. Um, but it's coming along nicely and uh, I'm ready, almost ready to put the floor on. So stay tuned and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For all of you new viewers that have come over here from... Uh, alone in remote Alaska's page seeing my video over there and then coming over here and giving me some love I sure appreciate it and uh, welcome over here I hope you enjoy what you see so anyway I hope everybody's having a fantastic day I hope you enjoy the video One of the most time-consuming things for me is to get all of these, all six of these blocks leveled to each other. I don't have a transit here, so it's really uh, just a just a time-consuming thing. I go from one block to the other, to the next block, and then I grab the beam and bring it over and make sure everything's level, and I have to make some adjustments. So it's taken me a little while to get all these blocks done. It's got to go back about a half inch this corner. And I got a rock right there. So I didn't bore you with all the digging. We used the magic of editing. And I'm back to where I need to be. <laughs> all righty then. Now, I didn't use any cement on any of these bricks. Some of them I just built up road base and set them on top, packed it down good and tight. You can see the corner when I put some bricks in the corner, but the rest of them are basically just freestanding. The ones I had to dig into the ground, I would put road base underneath and then put road base around them. But I, I was gonna put road base on this whole area and just level it, but that's not the thing to do because this is a runoff area. I had to slant everything away from my cabin. You don't want any water sitting around your living areas if you can help it. So keep those runoffs going. So in this case, this, this is run off here for many, many years. It works really well. So there isn't any reason I shouldn't have just left it the way it is and just put the blocks in place. The runoff when the rain comes should still run off like it ever did before. It is going to hit this one outside leg as it runs off, but I'll keep an eye on that and make sure it's going to be fine. darn short beds all that weights on that tailgate so if I put all three beams on that's a lot of weight on that tailgate I think I'm just gonna use my cart I did the first one with that it worked just fine I thought I'd load all three of them in here and drive up there but those darn short beds Next time you see this shot in the video, it's going to be full of logs. I'm never in a hurry here. I just do what needs to be done and get it done. This kitchen build isn't going to go quick because it's all by me and it's all by hand. But I also have still all my other chores I have to do around here, whether it's taking care of the garden still, and the garden's doing all kinds of things right now and keeping me busy also. 
all my animals that I've got to take care of. I've still got to feed myself each and every day. So I just don't hurry on any projects anymore. Now comes the fun part. I get to put it all together. Um, there will be each one of these corners. I do have to do a little bit of modification before I put them together. I'll show you one of them like this right here. And then I just fit them on each corner so they fit nice. Then I'll go ahead and make sure the whole thing is square. And then I've got one more beam to put in. These cement blocks I've used are eight by eights. These beams are six by sixes. So on my half laps here, once I get them into place, they're not just holding the weight from that half lap point. They are sitting on part of the beam also, which just makes it that much stronger. I wasn't sure what it was gonna look like, but I'm pretty impressed what it looks like <laughs> for being motor oil, <laughs> used motor oil. It did come out of the Toyota, so it really doesn't stink too bad. <laughs> I'll guarantee no bugs are going to be eating through this stuff. Now, if this was in contact with the ground or anything like that, I, I wouldn't be putting this on here. But this is not going to be in contact with the ground. It's going to be off the ground. There shouldn't be any water coming on it and washing off of it. It's all for moisture coming up from the bottom up. Here again, it's, it's trying to use any of the waste I create myself anyway. Whether it's garbage, whether it's oil, Anything that I create that's waste here, I want to figure out a way to be able to utilize it if I can. And this is a great way to utilize that oil. I could take it into town and get that done, but this is uh, a good way for me to utilize some of the waste that I create here. Back in the old days, it's what the farmers used for all their poles that went in the ground. And then that's why their poles lasted so long. The bugs would never get to them and it repels the water very well. This probably works as well as anything that's out there on the market as far as repelling bugs and repelling water. <laughs> Using common sense. It's not gonna touch the ground, it's not gonna be in the ground. Uh, why not utilize what I've got? And I didn't have to purchase anything to put on it either. I had one more beam I needed to cut. This one's gonna go in the center. Um, but unfortunately, it was in my big pile over here of wood at the bottom. 
So I had to, I had to disassemble the whole pile just to get to this one beam and get it up on the mill. <laughs> Now comes all the chisel work. These slots are a little bit more difficult to do than the half laps on the end. So I take my chainsaw and clear out as much as I can before I chisel the rest of it out. You hear the backup signal in the background? So this is a tree service here that's on my property. I didn't hire them. They are hired by the power company because clear up at the back of my property here, clear up on the mountain, I have the only access road for them to get up in there and they're clearing all the power lines. So while they were doing it, I says, if you want, I'll take all those logs you've got. They said, no problem. So I ended up getting over 80 logs stacked you know here really that cool? day for free. <laughs> when you live in the edge of your property has a, a power line in it, but you don't use it. So the company comes here to clear trees this year and this is all the trees they've cleared other than some of the other ones I've got. So, and they ask, where do you want the trees or do you want us to take them? I'm like, no, I'll keep every one of them. <laughs> but I will. I'll keep every one of them, whether it becomes firewood or wood for the mill. I'll take it. Who's going to turn down free trees and delivered for free? Well, it's just down to getting each one of these beams coated, top, bottom, sides, just every little inch of them, and uh, probably give them a good couple days to dry out, and they should be ready to go. That's the secret trick right there. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Sometimes I just put stuff together with whatever I got. <laughs> my eyes were definitely a little bit bigger than my stomach, right? I'm sure I'll be able to keep half of that for tomorrow, have that for lunch. Two oh three and a quarter. Two oh three and a quarter. Let's see what the other side is. Two oh three and a half. Quarter inch. I'll take that all day long. It's twelve by twelve, so it'll be fine. 